It's a bright orange muscle car with a criminal past. A 1970 Dodge Challenger RT, the Todd Scholler of New Milford, Connecticut, has owned for roughly 22 years. Scholler discovered the car's colorful history by accident, but it took some investigation to reach its original owner in North Carolina. I found some paperwork in the car. Uh, actually, it was tucked away in between a quarter panel and a trunk, and it had this guy's name on it. Uh, I forgot his name now, but uh, this is going probably back in 2000 to when I started taking a car apart, restoring it. It was at this point the story got interesting. Scholler found the man's phone number and placed a call. Told me a little story with the car that uh, he had the car for, he was his daily car for a couple years. He bought it brand new. Uh, then his son wound up taking it over. His son was using a car and he didn't realize his son was involved with uh, drugs, selling drugs. He had uh, eventually got snitched on and he had some cocaine in the back of the car. And finally the police caught up with him and as he was driving a car in Interstate 77 and I guess he was involved in a small car chase. But that wasn't the end to the story. Police caught him right away. They arrested him, they impounded the car, so, uh, and the car was left in the impound yard in some place in North Carolina for several months, and he was put away for some time. I don't know how many years, I guess it was, you know, several years, uh, because they found a lot of coke and they found a lot of cash. Eventually the father, the car's original owner, decided to retrieve it which yielded another twist to the tail. They went down there, the car is no longer in the impound yard. Uh, it was stolen, and six months later, they had found the car. Just through, I guess, word of mouth. Oh, there's a, an orange challenger that's sitting in somebody's backyard, and when they were walking through property, you know, and uh, he goes, be funny if that was the car. And sure enough, they got the police involved. And then when they went to the guy's house, uh, they checked the VIN and it was stolen. But the guy, this guy had bought the car, not knowing the car was stolen. The guy bought it from somebody else. He was gonna use it as a you know, parts car because I guess it was beat up. A lot of parts were stolen off the car. The Challenger passed through at least two other owners before Scholler acquired it and decided to return it to how it looked when it came from the factory. The car was a 10-footer. It looked good from 10 feet, but uh, for me to get the way it was, I had to disassemble the whole complete car, right down to the skeleton. I had it uh, sandblasted, media blasted, the whole car every body panel because the car was actually believe it or not not bad shape as rust wise the only rot that i had in the car was just the lower quarter panels and the uh, trunk floor and from there it was just an easy restoration besides you know it took me over 10 years you know with doing the car and the money that you know at the time spent to restore it you know i was doing you know working two jobs to you know support this car and uh and that's it, and this is what you see here. With a 383 cubic inch V8 that's been stroked to 489 cubic inches, the Challenger has an authoritative sound, but it's the car's condition that catches the eye. I painted it back in 2005, and it looks still brand new. It's no surprise that Scholler has had offers for the Challenger. Pretty good offers too, and came close to selling it, but I'm not ready yet. That's Ride Connecticut. I'm Bud Wilkinson. And if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe to Ride Connecticut's YouTube channel.